I thought every single line in the record was oh, about well, you. Oh, don't come on. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Don't fuck that. Shit. Hey, all right. Fuck Turn that. Hey, hey, Rage hey. in the machine in the stores hey, now. Hey, Pat. Hey, hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck Pat. that. Oh, is the mic on, it's man? It's time to rap. Microphone check one, two, one, I'm two. I'm about to leak Madonna tonight. I, I will name this podcast <laughs> later. Episode <laughs> number 86. Or yeah. 80, 86, 87. Whatever it is, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> fuck what number it is. It's on. <laughs> and it's lit. We got a lot to talk about. It's no, fucking no, Lit. no, we don't. Shit, I'm Maul. That's <laughs> Joe Button. That's Rory Lanes. I'll name this podcast later. I don't know what number it is, but we got shit Wait, to talk about. Why are you so turned out? Because, man, there's a lot of shit going on. All right, all right. So now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yo, Maul is lit. I'm with it, though. Yeah, yeah. nigga. All right, so, so, all right, so let's talk about it. It's NBA like, is back. NB, the NBA is back. Raging the Machine, number one hip hop album yes. in the country. Thank you, thank you. Raging Machine yes, in congrats. stores. Buy it, stream it, do whatever. Whatever, however you consume music, right. pretty good album though. Um, right. So now hip hop, hip hop set out in the. D- we used to do it back in. The- All right, that's my old nigga moment. Yeah, I get it. Um, the bridge was never over though. I haven't heard the four songs that we were just discussing. They were telling me how fake love it has a hook that everybody's gonna you smile love. in my face. Whole time they want to take my place. Killing you, Joe. He's talking well, to you, shut nigga. Up, shut up, shut up. I think He's smiling at his face is starlet. I personally. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Whole time you want to take my place. Uh, I personally think every single line in all four of those records is about Joe. I'm sure you do, Rory. <laughs> I know uh, it's all but, jokes, but, man. But the funny, the funny part is no, 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 no. Don't all jokes now, because you know what I mean. Sound like he was getting at your man's in them. Oh, he definitely went. At, he definitely went at Jay. He definitely went at Jay on that. Or on one of them records, he definitely gave Jay a, a, a bar on sneaking. All right, but you. All right, so I read a tweet of yours that I wanted to talk to you about, and you said, "Okay, it 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 seemed like you had a problem with people having a problem with him going at Cuddy." Yeah, man. I mean, people. The, the world wouldn't got themselves like it's the whole world is on a period or something. Everybody's sensitive. I don't get it. Like, no, millennials are just sensitive. Yeah, it's like if, if you looked at who was saying it, it wasn't your friends. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> why why he can't go at Cuddy because Cuddy's in rehab for being de- uh, depressed. We all depressed at some point. On we that. are not all depressed at yes, some we are. point. At some point, we no, some we of us just not. get over it. <laughs> no, no, and no, move no. the fuck on and no. hit and get that bag. No, no, so no. niggas is up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no. when you ain't got that bag, you depressed because you see other niggas with a bag. Wait, you think Cuddy don't have a bag? Cuddy ain't got that Drake bag, b. Who and, has a Drake bag? See, that's, that's not fair. It, no, it's not Who that. It's not fair. But, but 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 Cuddy, he probably feels some type of way towards Drake. You think every nigga that don't have a Drake bag feels a way towards Drake? No, no, they don't. But 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 quiet. A lot of rappers A lot of his peers Feel some type of way about him Especially since You know He don't write his own rhymes He's from Canada I don't feel any way Towards Drake and, no, and I mean, damn sure. No, I ain't got nowhere near. Yeah, but are you a different type of nigga though, Joe? Like you, you cut from a different, a different cloth. I don't, yeah, but think, I don't people think Cuddy hate, is that. I don't think guy, people though. hate Drake because Drake is richer than everybody. Not that he's richer, but more successful, and they don't, they, they, they don't think that it's you know, quote unquote, hip hop or rap. They think it's pop. So you know, the rapper, I, the whole Cuddy shit came out of nowhere to me. I didn't know any of that behind the scenes industry shit. He was fuck some people over and rub people the wrong way. I thought that he just started doing well, shows now, and now movies. Who said, and, who said that? Who introduced that into this? Wasn't that uh? Wasn't because I heard that who too. Was tweeting that was it Kanye or somebody? But it was like you 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 did. Oh, somebody put something out saying something that you know, Cuddy, you rub you know who the wrong way, and that fucked your whole career. Which I think he was probably talking about Hove. I don't know, maybe. Is there any validity to that at all? I don't know, but well, we, shit, he, uh, he we, left good music. They just kind of masked it as it was all good. But what was the last Kanye project that Cuddy worked on? The last one. He was on Beautiful Morning. That's him. Yeah. All right. So shit. <laughs> so, but he left good music well before that. Well, but they said it was nigga, all good. Niggas are still working with the nigga, man. And what the fuck could he have done <laughs> that was that damn bad? I don't yeah, know. I don't but know, I'm not bro. really interested in any rap beef where you're going through phases is too far. I'm cool. No. Um, but to the fans, I was a little. It was a little weird to me that the people that didn't care that Drake didn't write his rhymes now care if Pusha sold all that crack. Like, <laughs> there's no consistency there. I'm, I'm confused on why one is okay and wasn't the other. I don't care about either. I don't like the angle, <laughs> Aubrey. Let me just say that I don't. I don't like that. That was a weird. That was a weird angle. Yeah, I don't like that angle to come at Push, even though I respect him coming at Push. I don't like the yo. You never did all that. Well, shit. Well, no, you can't say it, but I'll say it. I don't. 
I don't respect that the only direct shot he took was at someone that doesn't rap. No, no, well, I'm not Cuddy? rolling with that one. Yeah. Wait, who? He took a shot. He only took one direct shot, and that was at Cuddy. With the man on the moon, that's a direct shot. Or closest to man, as it could be. That nigga shooting at niggas, man. No, I'm saying direct, a direct indirect. shot. Indirect. I don't give a fuck how you want to guise it. Right. <laughs> that nigga is shooting at whoever, man. Yeah. I, I think he shot one at Hove. Yeah. That's what uh, they're saying. I don't Push. know why people. I don't know why people go at Jay, because I think that Jay is just such the coolest nigga, and he don't bother him. Like he don't say he don't even talk about him. Oh, I ain't even show Maul. Let me show Maul a joint. Oh, I thought you sent it to Maul already. No, I didn't send this to Maul. Oh, we're what not going to talk about that on air, are of we? Of course we're not. Oh, so why are we bringing it up to I to show, ruin our listeners to not know it. what's going on? Because I got to show it to Maul. Did Did Jay uh, email you? Shut the fuck up, Maul. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> did Jay email you? Well. Wait, look. Where the fuck is the shit? Here. Y'all talk about something, Rory. <laughs> All by myself while you show more a secret message yeah. <laughs> that we can't talk about on air that you could have very well done off air no, to not make our listeners a secret uh, message. do that. I'm trying to teach you how to beat uh, a mic. Oh, shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> See, look, and now thank, you failed. Now when I get darn my big it. radio gig, I can't bring you with me, Rory Lanes. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Oh, it's Marissa 2.0. <laughs> Just text me when I'm fired, bro. My dad is about to be up. Yo, if you if you have a problem with my voice, it's because I, I'm a bit under the weather. Uh, nope. So I don't know how that occurred, but I'm sick as shit right before tour, Raging Machine Tour, hopefully coming to a city near you. Um, you can check my Instagram at Joe Budden or my Twitter at Joe Budden for dates or updates for that matter. Now. Cool fuck. plug. Um... I don't care that he dissed Cuddy. I do care that Cuddy is defenseless. Listen, man. Cuddy will have his chance to respond. Well, also, Jay threw shots at Nas when he was going through the thing with his mom. Like, it's not like this has been done before. Listen, I'm I'm a fan of kicking niggas when they down. I don't give a fuck. I like kicking niggas when they're down, too. (laughs) Fuck that shit. I mean, niggas is just too sensitive now. Like, who cares that that, that he dissed him and he's in rehab? Who gives a fuck? Cuddy will have his, his time to come home. I don't know if Cuddy wants to rap with, with Drake. I don't know if Cuddy that's, wants that problem. That's my point. Well, no, yeah. my point that's was I liked point, everything about it. I didn't think it was too far, but I think the only direct shot he took was at the motherfucker that doesn't rap as well as the other two alleged uh, shots. Yeah, but it's kind of like... <laughs> Why are you taking a shot at the motherfucker that can't really defend himself? And I'm not saying because he's in rehab, because I mean, he can't well, rap like you. Because well, you're the biggest rap in the world, you fucking do what the fuck you feel well, like if we, doing. If we, if, we being real, if we being real, Cuddy took a direct shot at him. Oh he yeah, did. no, no. Drake I don't. Did what I, don't, he was I, don't to do. I don't ever. I don't ever. You're right. That's a good point. He, he, has, I mean, he has, did what he's supposed to. Has Pusha ever took a direct shot at Drake? Yes, yes, he has. Really? I don't know. Which, what, what was the direct shot he took? Uh, how many people you signed to? Or was that at Wayne? That was Wayne. That was Wayne. All right. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't take that shot. At, that's what I'm saying. Uh, like, the crown the the crown with the writers in the room record. Don't pass the crown too soon unless you got a crown for every writer in the room. Is a direct shot at Drake. I like push, no, man, so I don't know. No, I mean, I, I like guess. push too. I like, I guess, but 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 I think Cuddy, what he said, you know, was kind of like it don't matter. Push and push can defend himself. Yeah, he can. I mean, Cuddy can too. He's just in rehab. Cuddy right now. can't rap with Drake if he chooses to. If he chooses to get in a booth some and and write a record, he he will have his opportunity to do that. Will it be? Any good? Cuddy can, can write Cuddy, some hooks. Can Cuddy rap with Drake Maul? No, I don't think he can. Well, then what no, the fuck but, are you talking but about? Cuddy, in, in this day and age, hit records are the new diss track that are I'm successful. Sp- Cuddy could do that. I'm speaking to the people that felt like Cuddy is defenseless. That's what I feel like about. Cuddy is defenseless. He's not defenseless. How's he not if he's in rehab? That's not being defenseless. He can. What he can, can he do in rehab? He can. Get, I think he defenseless when he come out of rehab. Listen. He can get him. He can get a, a laptop in rehab and a fucking mic, and he got beats. Oh come on! Mom. Everyone I know come that went on. to rehab couldn't have a phone. That is not. That is not time. realistic. Yeah, yeah, fuck that, man. <laughs> That's not realistic. Listen, man. Niggas just need to leave Drake alone, man. Let that nigga make the great music that he's making. Period. But he's picking on people. He's not, who did he? He never said anything about Cuddy before this. Cuddy came at him first. I'm done. T- I don't want to talk about Cuddy anymore. Why do you think he is talking about Push all of a sudden? Because a pusher keeps throwing little pop shots. What has Pusher said recently? I don't know about recently, but maybe that's my. But I, I, maybe I, 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 this I, I, is where Drake felt like he had his his moment to respond. You know what I mean? Like he he felt he he felt back. He took a lot of the jabs that niggas was throwing. 
He probably Cause, had cause a moment. Joe like, reminded you know him what? five times in four diss tracks. <laughs> yeah, he got <laughs> Joe got his day coming. Joe and Drake gonna dance one day. <laughs> wait, I hope, wait, I hope, I hope I'm front and center wait, for that. One. Wait, yeah, what more? What's more on <laughs> I don't, tonight, I don't man? Know. I hope Joe I'm, and Drake are gonna dance one yeah, day. Only because I feel like Drake is gonna feel like it's gonna hit him one day, like he really didn't entertain it like he should have. And it's it's, it's going to be a friendly it's going to be a friendly spa. It ain't it ain't no no animosity. That's no, my man, man. Yeah, it ain't no bad blood. I, but I feel like one day he I feel like I've you. already proved my point and I'm never addressing anything no, OVO but, again. But listen, the thing is everybody knows you can rap. You're not going to find one artist, one rapper in the world. I'm tired of that line. I don't want to hear that when it comes to me no more. What, that Honestly. You can rap? But you can rap. Yeah, but that's like well, a safeguard. That's like, hey, let's quickly let's quickly uh put to the side uh, one of the most infor- important contents in the co- in the game, and now let's talk about all the other shit. Yo, when it comes to Joe, man, we all know you can rap, but but and let's get right to the fuck shit. I don't like that. No, it's, but it's but it's it's, it's it's like a crutch. No, it's not that it's a crutch, but well, let's not just quickly discard it. What it is is it's everybody kinda, know you can rap. No, no but, nigga. No, but what it is with you, I'm telling you, people feel like that's what you want to do. Like you always want to get into it with somebody. So Drake wants to set himself apart. He's like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. And y'all, it's, it's a personal thing. Like y'all, y'all know each other. So he probably looking at it like, come on, Joe, this is what you do. You go at niggas. Like, oh, he knows. I'm not falling. Yeah, I'm not. He like, I'm not falling for that. Like, he don't want to fall for that. But I think one day he will. You know what I'm saying? Like, feel like, yeah, Joe. Let's, you know what? Let's let's just get it on one time. Nah, I'm chilling. Nah, you ain't chilling. Because if a record come out tomorrow, nigga, you gonna be right here back in this same studio. I don't know. I don't think so. Honestly, I know so. Honestly. Joe, Honestly, stop no, no, no. Seriously, stop. I'm not stop. rolling with you on stop. this, Joe. Stop. I'm serious. I know you. if Drake put out direct bars at Joseph Button I'm tomorrow, not, I'm not. What I'm if not. it's good? What if it's really good? Well, it I don't ought, care if it's terrible. It if it's terrible, it's even worse. Joe's still gonna respond like, "Nigga, that bullshit." No, I, you I put thought out? the last shit was terrible, but I was the only no, one with, that thought it. What last joint? The no shopping uh, jab. I thought that was terrible. I was the only one that thought that. But it was just a jab. So no matter what, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, I, because there's really nothing you could do. So that's why all of this beef shit is kind of funny. There's nothing you could do. He's he's like surpassed that shit. Fake love is definitely about you, though. I'm just going <laughs> to understand that. I don't know if you're joking. I haven't heard it yet. <laughs> Smile in my oh face. My Whole time they want to take my place. So, all right, so so <laughs> off of that now. What else? What else? What are these guys on here? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. You my guy. You know what I'm saying? So fuck it, man. I feel like so I got to fuck it. I got to put the battery back in you because you on your chill shit. Your album or, out. You, you made a happy yeah. album. Yeah, you on you on the road I'm and chilling. shit. Like man, fuck out of here. You ain't. It's no time to chill, nigga. <laughs> it's bad time to nah, chill. Fuck that, nigga. Turn up, nigga. It's lit. <laughs> all right, all right. So with it being lit, what that's is that all on the beef front? Of what? Of just hip hop. No, no one uh, else is beefing, right? No, no, no more beefs. Uh, uh, Meek uh, activated his Instagram again. Oh, in a in a wild plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> shocker, shocker! Shouts breaking news. Yeah, man. Meek yeah. is back on Instagram. We knew he would be back, though. Happy he's back, man. Get back to the music. I Meek, think fuck inst- all that other I shit. I think Instagram. I said the same thing about Twitter. <sighs> I think he- it's all more entertaining with Meek there. Yeah, Did man. he post five DC four on the way trailers? I'm tired back? of that though. <laughs> I'm tired of you get we gotta stop. We need a date. Yo, you know what? Somebody get Meek Peoples on the line. Why doesn't Meek have a Rolex sponsorship? I thought about that the other day. I think Meek should definitely be like doing some type of business with Rolex. Do you think Rolex is trying to get in bed with Meek Mill to push their brand more? Not about pushing <laughs> the brand, but you know. As a brand ambassador. I think yeah. I think you could get a high end watch. Yeah, somebody I'm, I'm saying not to, Rolex. Yeah, Meek should. Meek should they should even let Meek, if it's not Rolex, they should make. They should let Meek design a Rolex. That would be hard. We're talking about Rolex. They don't need Meek Mill. I don't, it's not about <laughs> needing anybody. I'm just saying that that would be dope. Well, he's that saying be, Rolex, that but be, I'm just saying that that concept. No, a, a watch period, would be great. Audemars, somebody. He talk about all them shits enough. That is a really good idea. Yeah, let let Meek design a watch, man. A, a fossil watch, I can see. Call it the last day of the last day of the Meek. Yeah, I ain't like that. I don't like that name. <laughs> Fuck that it. name is ass, my nigga. I'm gonna, keep, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it all the way a buck with you. The last if day I, of the if, meek. Yeah, if I saw a watch named that, nah. Okay, so then I then I saw you going off about uh, the future scandal with Scottie Pippen and Scottie Pippen's wife. And let me just hey, put me on record. There's a few athletes, you know that that relationship will always be there. That kind of elephant that's always in the room where. 
is a few athletes who are who are married to some pretty attractive women, and yes. they dabble a little bit, right, with rappers. And then there's some rappers who fuck with some chicks who dabble with the, you know, that relationship's going to always exist. So I always find it funny when these types of stories pop up. And then, of course, they pulled up all of Scottie Pippen's old uh, old tweets where he was saying, oh, my bitch is the baddest bitch in the world. I'm never leaving her. Oh, my God, I love her. But is it true? Did this really happen? Who cares? No, I care because I, I mean. Oh, who cares? I if, just need to know. Wait, he did file for divorce. No, that's true. Hmm. So then, yeah, he well, found where, he found for divorce. Who broke the future rumor? Was like, it a TMZ? I think source? it was TMZ. Black Twitter. TMZ. Yeah, <laughs> TMZ. I didn't really see a real story. I just saw people on Twitter talking about no, it. No, TMZ broke that. Um, Scottie Pippen has filed for divorce. Okay. And somehow future got dragged into this, and then they said that they found Scotty found a tape in her phone of her giving future head or some shit. I'm gonna just go on the record and say this. If I'm married, right, and I go on my wife's phone, I don't care if it's postman dick. I'm gonna kill that bitch. Just letting <laughs> y'all know that right now. She dies. Mom, <laughs> you can't kill your wife okay. for sucking dick. Mm-hmm. Well, don't go through your wife's phone to begin with. Yeah, no. I don't, you know, <laughs> and we I don't, can avoid I don't, all I don't of this. I don't play that game anyway, though. Like, I don't go through. I don't. I don't understand how guys go through women's phones. Like, what exactly are you I've, looking for? I've never looked at a, another person's phone and had I don't an interest to go through. Like, what are you looking for? I've 100% gone in the phone at well, some point in life. We, we could have guessed that one. You're but. the king of going through the phone, Joe. No, I'm not. I haven't gone through very many phones. I don't play with people's property that way. However, there was <laughs> a time in life when I was much younger right. that when I thought some shit was occurring, I went in that motherfucking phone. But this is this is so long ago. This was back when you could still call the operator and they would have the text messages on file and could read them. I didn't even know they did that. They did away with that a long time <laughs> ago. I didn't even know that feature ago. existed. And once they stopped doing that, it was really no point in ever going through a phone. <laughs> right. Joe, Joe, Joe was cool with the dude at the, uh, the AT&T store. Yeah. Yeah. No, 100%. Jesus yeah. Christ. He used to pull up all the text messages for Joe. Yeah, so that's when me and, yeah, that's when that, that was just bad. I went in the phone, I found some shit. See, that's what I'm saying. I, ah. You know you're going to find something. <laughs> I can't do it, man. Because I, I feel like if I had, if, if, if I need to, or I feel the need to go through her phone, I just feel like, yo, we should just, let's just, uh, before I find something crazy and end up putting my hands on you and going to jail, let me just, let's just, let's just part ways, man. Well, you can't put your hands on women when you find things in their phone. That's number one. My wife, a girl I'm dating. You can't uh, put your hands on hands of <laughs> women. Period. My boy. wife? Yes, you can't put your hands if on I your take wife. Vows before God and my family and everybody, and we have oh, this whole beautiful occasion. <laughs> and then two years down the line, I go through your phone and you sucking somebody else's dick. You can't put your hands on a woman. You die. I think that should be law. We're not saying you. But don't then have you're a gonna reason. go to We're jail. That's can't. okay. No, I'll go to jail. My cousins, everybody in there, we chilling. <laughs> oh it's lit. <laughs> it's not Keep lit. my books fed. Fuck it. So I saw somebody posted a, a a picture of a Snapchat that Future snapped, and it says she mine now. <laughs> I don't believe that, man. I think all that is bullshit. It's Photoshop. I don't believe that, man. <laughs> I don't care if, if it's Future true or did not. that. I, he's he he might be sipping clown juice, man. If he did that, I'm sorry. That ain't. There's nothing dope about that. Shocker there. It's, it's, yeah, but I'm just saying, it's like, there's nothing dope about that. Like, no, I don't. No. I don't think that you fucking niggas wife and I don't. That's not cool. That's not dope. Like, that ain't, when did that become cool? So you would leave your yeah. wife of 19 years. Yes, if she if sucked, she sucked another nigga's dick. What the fucking? Where am I at right now? This is Earth, right? I'm, I'm just trying. To, yes, there's nothing else to. Yeah, a but conversation, the, yeah, flirting, but the, texting, no, that's no, whatever. No, 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 Visually seeing my wife sucking another man's dick? Come on, man. Come Four on. kids, 19 years. Come on, man. Of 19 years, Mo. I will kill her. See, you're a little off, though. You would, you're would. you a bad point of reference to talk about because you ain't been in a relationship in 30 years. That's not true. Listen, if you take vows and it's for better or for worse. Right. And your wife is sucking dick. We're going to throw that under the worst category, number one. <laughs> and you seeing it. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's in the worst category as well. Nah, you don't try to work through that. No. 
There's no working through sucking another man's dick. So, see, and that's the problem with marriage today because the vows mean absolutely nothing. If I stand up there and somebody says for better or for worse, then I'm going into that thinking that I'm not I'm not looking to bounce so quickly. I'm not going in there thinking that she's going to suck other dick somewhere along the line of this marriage. That's why those vows exist, Maul. Those are, hey, nah, bro. we're not planning on this, but no. just in case she goes to suck no. some dick. For better or worse is like, you know... If, we, we what you think up, is if you forget to take the trash out? No, that's like, the well, worst. No, no like you, you know what I'm saying. About? Like you know, we just we, we fucked up. Come on, bad times, and you know we stick through it together. Or you know what I'm saying. Like yes, you, yeah, but I, right, I become that's the sick. Bad time. Uh, yeah, but sucking dick so, is not right. a bad time. Of course, it's case by case. <laughs> it's a great time, right? <laughs> it's a great fucking time. <laughs> but you, you had a great time sucking with the this, wrong person. Yeah, like get the fuck you out. You got to think. Fifty percent of marriages end. Like eighty percent of relationships end. So you're gonna leave the woman that you are compatible with for nine. 19 fucking years you have four children with all your money invested in with this person leave her and expect to be around another woman that maybe will or will not suck some dick but also don't know how to cook could leave her dirty drawers on the floor does not love your children there's a lot of you know things here listen if my wife it's sucks case by another case. man's dick <laughs> and you come home and you kiss my daughter and my son with those same other dick sucking lips you have to die. Why is your brain even <laughs> register things that way? What do you mean? Because that's what I'm thinking. Like, how long have you been sucking dick? Have you ever cheated on a, no, on a woman no. in your life? That I have that I was with my girlfriend? No, I've never cheated. Oh, so you had to actually call your girlfriend? Yeah, it's my, if it's my girlfriend, no, I'm not cheating. No, but dating? Yeah, dating is dating. We could date multiple people. What the fuck? Dating is dating. Unless it's my girlfriend, then it's, it's not considered cheating. So that means that if the shoe were on the other foot, like it is in in most instances, if when I was it comes getting my dick dating, sucked, a man, it doesn't have to necessarily be you. No, not not you getting your dick sucked. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, you, you was yeah. eating some pussy and went home and kissed her kids. Should your wife leave you, or should a woman leave a man? She has that option. She has that if she if she wants to. I'm just talking about me. Like, I, if my wife is sucking somebody else's dick, and I'm so gone. what? So then, what will you tolerate? What what le- what is the what level of bad time will you tolerate? What I, degree of it? I'm thinking more so like just family shit. If you know one of us becomes ill, she loses her job, and I have to you know hold the entire fort down myself, and you know shit like that. Like or you know she just she has to move, and maybe we have to be you know she's in L.A. and I have to live in New York, so we have to like only on weekends I have to fly out. Like little shit, like you know things like that. <laughs> Yeah, sucking like, dick is like nigga oh, no oh you God. cannot suck other if she even goes on a lunch date with another dude like oh you know it's like a, a word that's how you was feeling sucking dick is the contract where it says this is the end that's signing the contract i'm sorry sucking dick is is crazy all right what if she just got fucked still crazy Another man penetrated you in some form or fashion. I ain't gonna lie. Every time I hear Future's name come up in something like this, Sierra just gets pushed up the pedestal scope <laughs> for some reason. She won. Yeah, she kind of yeah. bodied that whole exchange. The internet <laughs> could laugh and joke all they want. No, Sierra won, man. She got a what seems to be a great guy. Really loves her. Loves really her happy, kid. Really happy. Married. She's pregnant too, right? Yeah, married. Like, pregnant. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Super Bowl champion. You know, he's yeah. not too white, but not too black. He's safe. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Got like, invited to the White House. He might be yeah. a little too white, but it's okay. But it's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if, if you see him at Summer Jam, you ain't going to be mad at it. He ain't going to stand no, out. You, you know, know what I mean? Like, mad. yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't trust people like that, though. Why? Like, people in, like, amazing relationships and, like, they're dating the greatest guy in the world. In my head, I'm like, he does something weird. He I gotta mean, like touch kids or like there's gotta be something wrong with him. Everybody if has he's their like flaw. this, don't fucking I don't wanna have sex till marriage. I wanna treat you amazing. Something's wrong. Yeah, everybody has You their gotta flaw. be a creep Listen, somewhere. Man, you gotta win the X game. <laughs> that's that's the that's the invisible game that exists when you break up with somebody. You you have you have to ultimately win that game. That other person has to be miserable longer than you. That yeah. might be That's a fact. That's true. <laughs> that, that's horrible thinking too though. But it's true. Is I mean, am I lying? No, that's a fact. Well, are are you trying to win for yourself or against them? No, no, no. You want to do better for yourself in life, but you always get that extra smile where a few <laughs> more extra teeth show than normal when you when you turn to the side on Instagram and see your ex 
doing bad. <laughs> yeah. You I just got to kind of chuckle at that. Yeah. I don't hate any of my exes, so I shit. I don't hate them either, but still. Because during breakups, people predict. I don't shit. hate him either, but I definitely don't want to be the one that's doing bad yeah. after the breakup. But I know I'm like, not going to do bad, that. so I don't give a shit. Fuck that. Listen, in breakups, people predict things. People just say hurtful things, and a lot of times, those hurtful things are predictions. Right. <laughs> Motherfucker, you ain't never going to be shit. Or ever. something you thought about the entire yeah, relationship. Yeah, before and you got you're just blurting it out. So <laughs> right. nah, you, you can't have time prove those predictions to be fucking fact. Right. No. Well, no. no. In in that instance, there are things I think about my ex, and I go, "Well, that's why they're still there." That doesn't mean I'm smiling because they're in this place they don't like. I am. <laughs> <laughs> hey, call me petty. Right. I'm like hell, bitch, you still doing that? Right. All these years later. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I feel like I could just listen to one of your mixtapes and already know that about you. That's but. fact. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, off, speaking of Sierra, though, and speaking of me being as muddy as I can possibly be, so uh, one of the things that uh, me and me and Sin had so much fun doing today while laying down and cuddling was listening to Soldier Boy and Bow Wow's Oh, how was it? <laughs> Mixed day. Streets needed that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dog, listen. <laughs> listen. That's how stupid we are, though. We're in bed, <laughs> snuggled up with the phone. First of all, that's not even cuddle music. Like, so what are y'all doing? We're li- we listening for bars. No, so. you're not listening for bars. When for I sure. tell you, it was such an amazing ex- bonding experience. <laughs> Yo, every verse Soldier Boy had a, a one-liner that was pretty funny. Aside from the fact that both of them niggas sound exactly the fucking same, I want to know who authorized this fucking music to be released. They they just came up with the idea themselves that the, that the streets wanted to see them come together in their beef and shit. They probably listened to this podcast and heard us talking about. Oh it. yeah, because they, they had beef, right? We should yeah. we should end this. Oh, yeah, that's why this is like a big deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I forgot we just talked about their beef. Yeah, if, right? I'm, again, I'm going to say this podcast started that too. So we'll while take the credit, so while I'm joking about this mixtape, quiet is kept. I respect Soldier Boy as a producer, mm-hmm. so I did want to hear where he was at musically. Right, and if nothing else, Bow Wow can ride over a beat. I've heard him do that many times in my career. Right, so if he has someone writing for him. Has that ever been proven? Yeah, T.I. wrote mad at his shit. Yo, you know what? AD Give me all the people that that have been accused of not writing it's their not rhymes. A, it's not an accusation. I think that's a well documented that Bow Wow has had writers his well, whole life. Well, I know that they had a, a dude over there at Social Death was named Tiger. I would dude, know. Dude, Tiger, I think he was writing some of Bow Wow's early But so. shit, that before T.I. popped, he was writing for Bow Wow. J.D. used to write a lot of that shit. It was great. I mean, but, I'm not mad at we, it. We would only expect that Bow Wow has rights. He came in the game rapping when he was eight eight years old. <laughs> from nine years old. Chronic. Yeah, like, <laughs> come on, man. We know he wasn't writing that. Yeah, I didn't understand uh, any of Bow Wow's. Bow Wow said that he came from the hood or came from the bottom on the mixtape or on the album. And me and Sin just looked at each other. The bottom, yeah. Listen, man. His it, bottom it, stopped at seven years old. Any city in the Midwest, I think, is the bottom. I roll with it. So he it's hasn't been to the knock bottom. it the fuck off. He hasn't been to the bottom. Since Never he drove was to seven. the Midwest. It's disgusting. I've been watching Bow Wow since he was fucking <laughs> six years old, the selling out, out arenas. Yeah, fuck out of here. So what else happened in in the universe? Well, how was the mixtape? You didn't say. He said it was a great <laughs> bonding experience. That was yeah. That's what I said. We that brought you we, and we, Sin we bo- closer. Yeah, we bonded and well, we laughed and we joked and we hugged and we a kissed. Moment in time. Yeah, it was great. Mm-hmm. And then she looked up and said, yo, this is totally not the music that we should be doing this to. Right. And then we cut it off and that was the end of it. But we got certainly got a good laugh. Sometimes I, I, shit is funny to me that is not supposed to be funny. We know, Joe. I don't know if everybody knows. Yeah, I, well, I definitely know. I did, uh, I did Combat Jack uh, recently and it was a real good, real good interview. Combat Jack is really good at what he does. Absolutely. I mean, I, I say that... <laughs> Uh, he just dropped that recently, so you can check that out. But that was a real good interview. Uh, then I did something with Mass Appeal where I was interviewing myself. I'm glad you didn't walk out on yourself. I saw that little that little jab you threw out there. That was pretty funny. Uh, so that was pretty good. I've been pretty good in my in my press since I've turned over this new leaf, right? Of being nice and not being angry and grumpy. <laughs> oh, you mean mean to yourself? No, just people. Period. But you like combat. I'm still not 
Rowan, that you're this changed person. I'm you like you. combat, I'm and you've you done press with combat before. I'm so that was going to be fine. I mean, shit, you might get mad at yourself. I could no, see that one because you're weird. I didn't walk out of myself. <laughs> nah, it's been more good. And then who else? I did. Uh, Have you done Angie yet? You love Angie. That's not going to. I am going to do Angie. Yeah, so that'll be fine. Angie's amazing. No, I'll give you credit for picking people that you're going to do good interviews with. Well, these are people that are some of the best at what they do is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm not, not the, talking about not how I club? feel toward them. <clears throat> why not the Breakfast Club? Why not Hanai Because Because the narrative is never really music on the Breakfast Club. And yeah, as, yeah. as I've already seen, the narrative is not really music on Hot 97. So mm-hmm. I, I, I find that when I do interviews where the narrative is not music, they don't mm-hmm. normally keep my interest, and they don't normally bode well. Combat's not completely music. No, but con- but combat is well informed about everything that he's saying. Yeah, no, I agree with that. So I have no problem sitting talking <laughs> down with I'm sitting down talking with anybody who's well informed about shit. He's very well informed, so I don't have any problem talking with him about a plethora of things. It's when we're just going to talk about shit, like, just to, to, to make, make the interview uh, some fuck shit, or <laughs> we're just going to, like, I'm not, that, that doesn't really hold me. Uh, well, Tax 2.0 is happening from the combat uh, interview. I think it should. I think it should, right? too. I think it should. We're, we're Tax and I do another one. I said it was a few podcasts <laughs> I want to do. Tax is one. Uh, I think me and Nori should definitely do one. Um, he hit me So these are all things That are gonna take place Shout out to Tax man He uh, he came by the pop up shop This past week And we kicked it He He's about to His his next interview He's gonna shake the internet Man with that Oh what interview you got Tell me tell me tell me Nah I can't do that Oh come on Pop up shop do that, Reasonable man. doubt I'm gonna, I'm gonna mm. go with Jay nah. <laughs> Is that what Tax is doing Over there huh Nah but he He gonna shake the internet With this next one Well he shook the internet With the last one with beans? Yeah. Yeah, no, but this is this is different. This is this is going to really be like I told him that this this next interview for him is going to put him in a different on a different level now. Like this is this this is going to take his 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 platform to a different level. And he agreed. Is it Beyonce? <laughs> no, man. I can't, I'm, not, I'm definitely not saying on air. Oh, what does it, it drop tomorrow slash today? No, 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 no. I think it's he's dropping it. I think he'll drop the trailer. This week, oh okay, and I think uh, he he said he's dropping the episode this week, and then it'll be the next episode. Oh, the, and the interview is done already, though. Good for Tax; he deserves all that. Yeah, man. Shout out to Tax. Shout out to Vok, man. Coming by uh Fourth November Pop Up Shop, in New York. Is there anything interesting coming up soon? Like in the coming weeks, Halloween is coming. That always throws me off a bit. Yeah, Halloween um, is still weird. <laughs> Weird time of the yeah, year. Yeah, all the bitches still gonna be dressed like hoes. So I mean, right. That's really the end of that. I'll be on tour for the next month, so then that, that don't really do nothing for me. I'm, I think I'm on that the road. A, even. That does a lot for you. What do you mean? No, I'm just saying, as far as me trying to uh, gauge the year and oh, okay. compartmentalize them. So, so I'm going another month there. And before you know and it, it'll be Thanksgiving. Christmas, uh, Christmas, New Year's. Yeah. Now we right back in January, January, yeah. February. Now I'm waiting for the pool to open again in March. Right. <laughs> That's a fact. That's the year flying by to me. Yeah. I had a real good 2016. Yeah, like when I sit and think about my my year going from all love lost to uh, raising the machine, I, yeah. and I break it down into months because that's yeah. what I do. Yeah. It was a real good year. Yeah, yeah, 2016 was 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 definitely a good year so far. Still, we still got some time on the clock. But who's dropping? So all right, Drake is dropping more life. More life. Who else is dropping something at the end of the year? Do we know? I want to talk about what is it called? A playlist that he's putting out. Well, it's, it's a not playlist. A, it's not a. It's not a, an album, but it's it's a playlist. So, what do we think about? Is this just another way for Apple to create a new way to make money the way others won't? Uh, a, a playlist, maybe. Well, how do how would they make money? What do you mean? Well, I, I don't know because it hasn't come out yet. But there's never been a playlist come out from an artist that's new music. This right. is a new thing. That is true. <laughs> Joe sitting not there a with new fucking thing. Who 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 has it? done that? Who done what? Put out a mixtape? It's not a mixtape. It it's is a, a fucking mixtape. Drake put out a mixtape and sold it last time. Yeah, and called it an album. And now he's, they just Didn't changed the name. So they did call it an album. So wait, just so I'm clear, because I think I'm confused. It, it's going to be original new Drake music? Original yes. music. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. I thought it was like a playlist of like other artists. Yeah, no. That's why I say it's not a playlist. 
Okay, I see what you said. So if I see it's what, yeah. all original music yeah, if it's from his you, music, nigga, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I see you don't want to call it an album, yeah. Then there's a mixtape. Yeah, he just found a dope way to. Yeah, they just it. changed the name. Yeah, he, yeah. it sounds like a complete Apple thing. To, where did the playlist start? Apple. <laughs> it started on iTunes, and now it's yeah. moving to Apple Music with the biggest rapper in the world who just put an album out, not but fucking three months ago. Yeah. So do you not like the idea? No, I'm just curious. I don't know what the idea is. I don't is, really, really have predictions yet because I don't know much about it, but it's very noteworthy that it's called a playlist. I like the idea. What is the idea outside of something to sound cooler than a mixtape? I mean, that's the idea. It just sounds cooler than a mixtape. Well, if that's the extent of it, then okay. I'm pretty sure that won't be the extent of it, though. We have to see how and this And then it's going to, I swear to God, if that starts a wave of all of these young fuckheads, uh, Putting out playlists. Well, that's that's what it's because playlists yeah. is the new thing, right? Yeah, I'm just old. Yeah, that's the new I'm thing. I'm just old. All right, so this is a dope thing, then. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what it does. So, Rory, what, stop. What the stop reason making is. me think it's whack, then, man. If it's I'm dope, not saying, no, I'm wondering what it's going to be. Now, when it comes to playlists, do you do you guys have a go to like woman playlist? Yeah, but it's one that I created. No, I know. I'm more interested in what's on your go-to playlist when you're hanging around the opposite sex. <laughs> well, I'm happen. trying to see what mood yo, you guys are setting out there in the universe. I mean, universe. If, if it's young bitches, it's, you know, the Tiller party. <laughs> party <laughs> definitely got a name. See, this yeah. is why it's funny already, because niggas definitely compartmentalize <laughs> depending on what type of bitch it is. Of course. Yeah. All right, so if it's young bitches, you're giving them some Tiller and party. Yeah. That that little wave. I mean, if if they're around my age, I might go with my. Well, depending on what she's like. Like if she's like the music I like, I'll do a D'Angelo type mm. wave. Okay, now we getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we getting. Somewhere. And the shoes are definitely off in Rory's house. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You know how and people say, incense. "Take your shoes off when you walk in." Right. Take your socks off too in my career. Oh, oh man, see? that's what I'm saying. Rory got incense see? lit over there and all 100%. types of shit. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Definitely. The Mom, fuck is wrong with incense? Nothing is wrong with incense. Oh, <laughs> incense is a dumb. Let me tell you something, nigga. I light an incense, a candle. Joe, we know. Oh, we know. Uh, <laughs> you live with a walk in Joe's wick. house to see a whole <laughs> oil heat. burner, yeah. fucking everything. I'm lighting everything on fire. Right. I'm bringing fucking. I got the uh, what's the portable portable log uh, log burner fire thingamajig? I got a million of them shits. Yeah. I left a bunch of them shits in the old crib too. I need to holler at that nigga. Oh, what's yeah. on your uh, playlist, Maul? Maul, who it, hasn't had a girlfriend it, in a million years? I'm it, curious it would, to see. It would it would be like you know typically a lot of stuff that I listen to because I think I listen to just a, a, an array of different shit. And it might be some shit that I'm putting, you know, the female might not listen to a lot of shit I listen to, but, you know, and listen to it, you'll like it. Like, oh, that's that's dope. So that starts a conversation like, yeah, this is so-and-so. Yeah, like, if she has a mental, putting her on the music is always a good Yeah, that's always a, good, a plus, good thing. putting women on the dope music. Are you judging women by the music they enjoy? Am I just or trying to Or the music they her? listen to? I don't know. What are you trying to do? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I do. I've judged women off of what they listen to. Me too. Definitely. Yeah. I have. If I'm just trying to penetrate her, I really could give two fucks, but- Yes, I have judged. Yeah, woman. definitely judged the woman on her what she was listening to. Hmm. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you have to you have to because if it's an artist that she shouldn't know about my 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 brain it says how did you come across his music? Like I need to know. Like if it's an artist that I, a woman typically would her not, last nigga put on to the fucking music nigga. What are you talking? Or about? he might be her last nigga. <laughs> like I knew that was coming that's, I was waiting for him to say it That's what my brain goes Used to Aww. fuck with this nigga or something Like how the fuck you know this you nigga You think so? Absolutely I done bumped into a few bitches That wanted a name drop Fucking party's real name I'm like, Of I didn't course I know his real oh, name Of course God. man it's like, wait, Yo what? son that need, That's an epidemic that needs to stop <laughs> it will That not, happens it will never a lot stop. It will never stop And yo Mac I'm not throwing you under the bus But so many bitches in New York City Have referred to Mac Wilds as Tristan In ca casual conversation It makes me lose my fucking mind yeah. Well that's oh, different Oh yeah uh, No we linked with Tristan I'm like Bitch yeah. You know Let's him as Mac Let's not get Wilds. it twisted <laughs> the Mac was he had, a, he had a little stint Where he was running around the city 
like a little snipe out here. Man. I don't know anything about know. that. Mac is my man. <laughs> no, this was uh, this was a while ago, but I remember. I, I mean, who I love. Shit, we all got a past before we got with our girlfriend. I don't shit. know that any of my friends have a past. <laughs> okay, put me out there. Okay, cool. Well, I do. I I'm know saying, each and no, every I'm one of saying, you niggas have I'm a past. I'm saying that's how I be on it. Like when if anybody's friends, duck, you come to me asking me questions. I don't know nothing about nothing. Nigga. No, no, no. Don't come to me and ask me anything. But I'm just saying, oh. like we we all know that everybody has a past, man. Unfortunately, man, people know. I have a past. Yeah, but we don't give a fuck. I've outgrown my shit though. Yeah, my kid ha- is walking with a funny bop. I said that to you. <laughs> what do you mean? He was funny yo backstage at BB King's. At, like I said, Trey walking around like he got some pussy. His bop is like that a little bit. I, I don't think he got no pussy though. Yeah, I, I think he's getting closer. So he moving a little, a little I bit more I do think he can't he, wait. He can He eager to find out how it if works. He ain't getting it yet. He got pictures of him in the in his phone. <laughs> 100%. Well, every time I see him, I go in the phone. I grab the phone and go through his DMs because to me, that's like going in your kid's room nowadays. I got to see what's going on, these little fast-ass heifers. Yeah. So pictures are in there. Definitely. But the walk is new. Yeah. That That's the only reason I'm a little caught off guard. Well, his I, game I, is probably working now. What so he's a game? Bit more, more confident. I ain't yeah. say it was a good game, but. He got game? You just don't know what his game is? I mean, is. I don't know what the game is. Yeah. You, it's a 15-year-old game. I saw my name name dropped in one of them damn Insta DMs. Yeah, yeah. By, by one of his little fucking friends. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Fucker, you owe him by to, now. Nigga. Hey, I'm Joe Button's son's friend. <laughs> yeah. No, you're not, nigga. I don't know you. <laughs> fuck is you? What you mean? Keep, keep, what you mean what I mean? Keep that's my name Trey's, out your That's DMs, his man. Nah, I don't nigga. give a fuck who it is. <laughs> that's his man. He mans. just became my man. <laughs> I want to hear about his man. <laughs> that's his man, B. I don't understand what the funny walk is about. So when I when I ask him about it, he he kind of looks at me like he ready to square up with me and shit so I'm like alright forget it dog go ahead and walk funny then right what's this kid what's um let me not say that What what's happening with Trick Daddy in the world that I gotta see, oh. keep seeing his name uh, pop up all over the universe Trick Daddy went for the gusto he ain't give a fuck uh, he posted on Instagram the caption is these Spanish and these white hoes they <laughs> started getting finer than a motherfucker y'all black hoes better tighten up I'm telling you tighten up Y'all doing all this extra shit for nothing. You're not achieving nothing, bitch. You getting your ass done, your titties done. You're paying $150 to get your makeup done. Just join, just to go to a local club, bitch. Tighten up, ho. These Spanish and these white hoes is getting very spiff. spiff this is, this is trick daddy talking like this? They, yeah. they fuck around and learn how to fry some chicken. You hoes are useless. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> trick daddy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the hell that's well, Are we surprised that trick daddy is saying this? I'm a little I'm a little thrown off by the timing of that. Like, why is that happening right now? I think that's an honest question. Like, that sounds passionate. It does. <coughs> I'm I'm didn't even know Trick Daddy had an Instagram. Me and who's either. running to follow Trick Daddy on Instagram? I'm sure love Trick Daddy, Trick but Daddy. I don't know if Trick, I'm Trick Daddy has albums that I thoroughly enjoy. Well, no, I love Trick Daddy too. I'm just who's trying to follow my Instagram. But I, I uh, guess uh, for this type of content, but an all out <laughs> bash on fucking. Uh, on black women, that seems to be like a growing trend on on Twitter, where people enjoy just bashing an entire group of people. Yeah. Oh fuck! I'm, you not, I'm, I'm not a part of that. I'm, I I hate that. I don't like just bashing people for well, whatever the fuck reason. I mean, the black the black women thing's been happening on black Twitter forever, though. You said the what? Bashing black women on black Twitter has been a. a yeah, quite I don't a trend since it, oh not like I hate that. I don't understand. Well, people that tweet shit. for retweets, and that typically gets a lot of retweets. Well, let me put it out there. I love black women. I love y'all. I'm Yo, remember on record. Re- remember Vine. <laughs> <laughs> remember Vine. Yes. Yeah, the, I do remember Vine, Vine. Shouldn't Vine is up there with MySpace now as fucking forgotten about thingamajigs? Is it? I still see Vines on my. When, yeah, when do you see a Vine? Is. No, you don't. No, you don't. Show me a Vine right now. I could probably show me my anybody's timeline. Vine. I happen. I'm to not love, Vine. I happen to love the Vine compilation of World Star every week. Yeah, that's why I go to World Star. I happen it's to just love. to I catch think that great shit in there. You should really check it out. Sometimes. Why? What's on there? It's just everything. Y'all be watching. You might the, see a nigga like getting his head bust. See, I'm not into that. You might see. Vine got all the might see shit. Uh, nigga just falling in the store doing dumb shit. Like it's just, it's just Dog, funny shit. I haven't been a world star in about probably eight years. World star. Well, you've definitely I been just, on world star in the past. In not the recently. Last eight days. I just counted seven vines within sixteen minutes on my timeline. Yeah, Vine Who are good. you following? <laughs> no, People Vine post Vines. Yeah. I'm not saying it's their account and they're like, hey, I'm in my kitchen. Vine is still like 
it's, popping. It's got all the yeah. funny shit. Yeah, still people still putting posting funny shit videos and it, yeah, it is. Oh, Definitely. I didn't. One hundred percent. Y'all informing me of something new. I had no idea about that. Yeah, yeah no, so stop fact. fucking hating. Did y'all see pictures from? Uh, and I only know this because uh, I had to cancel my Angie interview because. Uh, yeah, Angie called me and said, hey, sorry, but uh, got invited to Barack's big party at the White House. Fucking nerve so of Angie. So got to reschedule with you. Yeah, uh, yeah. you definitely got to reschedule behind Barack. I saw Thanks, Angie at a rest stop <laughs> in the middle of nowhere on Friday. Who? Oh, she must have been going to D.C. because I was going to D.C. Hey, didn't know she was going to Barack's thing. Now it makes sense. Makes so sense. at a rest stop, just somewhere in West Bubble fucking Jersey. Barack is one of those names where you can't really be mad if someone has to reschedule. I think that's yeah, the no. name. Yeah, if it's any name, it's Barack. <laughs> so she was posting, she posted some pictures. Uh, D-Nice was posting some pictures. It looked like a really extravagant, nice, beautiful affair. I, I was, I wanted to invite. Well, yeah, I about to say, why wasn't Joe Budden invited? Because why the fuck is Barack inviting Joe Budden to the White House? I mean, shit. You sound like a, a president. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, you, might as, you might as well yeah. be at the White House with the president. You sound like one. Hey, what are one, they talking about? I, you sound like you a sound like Yo. you about to give the address the nation, yeah. man. That's what you sound like. Bro. <laughs> you have the voice of a man that is about to address the nation. Like Yo. yes, one autocorrect mistake to Joe Biden, and you get an invite yeah. by accident. You get an invite by accident for real. Yo. Yo, for that was real. one of the funnier one-liners I've heard in some time. For real, you look like you talk, you sound like you' about to address the nation. <laughs> like listen, <laughs> listen, like listen to your voice. Your voice is crazy. Like you sound like the movie ticket guy with a phone you that do sound like the call? movie phone guy. Thank you guys. Yeah, <laughs> press one. I, I appreciate for a transporter. It. All right. <laughs> 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 Yo, Joe, that was you all this time, man. Let me know, man, because you got this big ass crib, all this shit. Word. Like, no, Them if you the movie phone guy, let me know, man. Not the movie phone I want to be friends with the movie phone no, guy. Don't man. worry, I'm not the movie all right, phone guy. All right, my bad, bro. And, yeah, Damn, not, yeah. I thought you was him. No, I'm not. That's him. how he got signed. Kevin Lyle's fucking cold movie phone. Yeah. Yeah. I think this guy's got something. Yeah, didn't sound like this back then, by the way. This is years of fucking sick smoke and. Oh, shit, I might just start smoking a pack a day if I, if I could sound like that. If I could sound like that, shit. This voice better make me some money one motherfucking day. Yo, you should really get in the voiceovers, Joe. I think that's your calling, man. I'm gonna, fuck my, this rap I'm gonna, shit. And I, listen, I t- keep telling niggas I'm getting far the fuck away from this rap shit. I want to do broadcasting. I would love to see like a Disney movie and it'd be like a fucking just like a, a animal that you would never think would have a voice like you and as soon as it talks, it's, it's Joe Budden. I would love that. Like a fucking fish or something. <laughs> And and it's just your voice, like hey. <laughs> That'd be the rapiest. Oh, yo, I'm fish glad ever. that you got this all played <laughs> no, out and figured out in your no, head. No, but but really, you gotta really like yo. Your voice is like is golden, man. Thank you. Mo. You really need to start doing voiceovers. Fuck fuck rap beef, man. Get in the beef with these Disney I'm, characters. I'm not in, man. I'm not, I'm I want to see you and go, fucking go Scar. Kidnap Nemo what was the dude? Nemo. Yeah, like uh, the, the Lion King, J- Jufasa. I want to see you and Jufasa get in the standoff <laughs> and just start talking each other to Dare death. Dare you, Jufasa? Think that you yeah, you feel right, me? Like you I see where it. I'm going with this I, I shit? Fuck these rappers, man. I say fuck these rappers too. Word. It's, you don't want to. You want to be sixty saying it's the real hip hop over here. <laughs> <laughs> don't. That's a fact. Quiet, don't. Hey, quiet is kept though. That might be a new lane. What? I'm what? wait. I'm waiting to see if Jay put out an album right now. We're going to listen to it. But but Absolutely. Jay isn't a real human being. Who He's else? A, Who else? Let me see. I think the rap is going to approach a There's space no, where no we'll, we'll be accepting of a 55-year-old. Oh, yeah. We didn't even tell him. M put some shit out. M said M, M did something, listen, right? Listen, listen, listen. I don't know what that was, but he's a different type of dude, man. I'm sorry. Like, I was sitting there and just like, it's almost like it's so weird and different, but you just sit there and you're just in awe of this man. Like, he put all of these words together. That shit is crazy. Like, I really was sitting there listening to it like, I don't, this is crazy. Like, I want to read this. Like, I really want to read this as, like, just words. I want to read that. I was listening. I was like, what's M doing? (laughs) (laughs) What what are you doing, man? He was just going crazy. And I'm like, yo, dog. He was doing a lot. It don't, that don't make no sense for a man to have that ability, man, to put words together like that. That's, that's incredible. That's really incredible. Are you going to listen to that more than once, though? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to play it, like, in the car when I'm trying to jam, but, like, 
just to be in awe. Of just it's just like a a painting. It's like nigga, you gotta go just look at that some days. Just sit down and just look at it. Like no, I thought it was amazing. I mean, I don't think that's exactly what it was for me. That, it was like a portrait. It was like dog. Yeah, I mean, I just won't listen. I've never to it heard again. anything like. That. I don't even know what that's called. They played it before Joe's show when I, w- I walked they? out to use the bathroom. <laughs> and oh, that's crazy. Then I left the bathroom and it was still going. Shit didn't stop. All right. Yeah, that shit is like, man. Listen. I I I don't. But what does this mean from him? Do, do, do we think this means a project is on its way? Yeah. I can't. I, I can't see him just randomly dropping some shit out of nowhere. And I can't see Paul just putting some shit out. And he For did say, hey, I'm working on some shit, but in the meantime, that was the caption that it, that it read, so. Oh, so there you go. Yeah. They're way too meticulous over there, so I'm, I can assume that the M Project is coming soon. Was recovery was the last one? No. Marshall Mathers 2, right? Don't ask me. Okay. Fucking uh, so that already makes for a December that's heating up between them two. Oh, well, did M say December? No, but I'm just saying, if we're in fuck, well, what month are we in? October. 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 Yeah, and nah, December's probably too soon. Yeah. I would say first quarter, if anything. Eminem can do anything. I know, but there used to be a time when all the big acts were saved for December, fourth quarter. He Christmas still, time. He Niggas want that Christmas out. run. He could put something out in December. I wonder how much of a difference it makes to put out a project around it, uh, around Christmas. A major difference. More people are shopping. I but yeah, but. I you would could be buy afraid to I get th- my shit like. Flooded over with the influx of music that comes out around that time. I think it used to matter when people were going out to buy CDs because you was already out shopping. Now you could buy a, a album in your phone. You could stream it. I don't think that really changes anymore because it's holiday time. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's still a, a surge in the sales around that time. I may, maybe not as significant as, as it was before, but that's just the time of year where people are out of school, more people have downtime. People on vacation, you know, people, you just get more chance to really be online and listen to music and download music, stuff Shit. like that. What was it, last Thanksgiving where like 15 projects dropped on Thanksgiving Day? Yeah, that was crazy. I w- for a while I was asked, I was saying I was waiting to hear new music from Bryson Tiller and then he dropped something and then we nobody ever discussed it. It was cool, I liked it. I don't think it should be a single, but it was good. I, I don't think I've heard it yet. The the last song I heard new record I heard from Bryson was with Travis Scott on Travis's album, which is is good too. No, he dropped something on his own. I don't know the name of it. I only heard it once. I or forgot twice. the name of it. It's um, not bad, but it wasn't anything that I would run back to listen it w- to. It was again. it was safe. Bryson wasn't anything different than we hadn't heard. The the, I, the 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 weight is on his shoulders for his his second project, which is why I'm happy he's kind of waiting. Yeah, he he has a. <laughs> a big that, ball. Now, why do you say that? Because he had so much success off of a SoundCloud. He went platinum. Yeah, and then it's like you know. You, Let me explain as a record. You, yeah, you touring and you, you performing you play at it? Radio City. Yeah. Like, dog, this is all off of a SoundCloud artist. Yeah. Like you have I'm a, not familiar with his SoundCloud story. Yeah, that's where people I mean, found he blew, that he, record. Yeah, he blew. Don't went up on SoundCloud and he blew up from there. Yeah. That's the record that he put on SoundCloud that took him out of it. So it's like, dog, you you gotta you gotta show that that wasn't by accident. If this new record is any indication, I'm not rolling. It sounds like more of the same. It sounds like a leftover from um the last project. Well, let me hear. It. Oh shit, he's a SoundCloud artist. Though. If we don't get taken off, and, and I love this sample. What do you mean a SoundCloud artist? <laughs> He's popular on SoundCloud, so oh. SoundCloud will pick up this song and we'll get thrown the fuck off. Tell me you love me and trust me. Oh, and it took a while to trust me. This would be on my playlist for young bitches. You don't judge me, I love the way you touch me. I'm feeling like I'm about to lose you. With all the shady shit I do to you. Something's a better lesson. I'm just going to do that because I don't want us to get thrown off. Yeah, you know, all um, college bitches can't wait to ignore their ex at a party with Jungle Juice when that shit come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that what all the young bitches want to do? Absolutely. What are the young they bitches doing now? They want to drink fucking Kool-Aid and cheap vodka and ignore their ex at a dorm party. That sounds like And, and listen to Bryson Tiller. And act fake gay. And act fake gay. Mm-hmm. 
Are they still acting fake gay? No, no, no. Not no, as no, bad no, as no, 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 They no, used no. to be really, really, really bad. I'm not rolling with that happening still. Okay. No, a few years ago it was an epidemic. <laughs> a few years ago, <laughs> bitches was bitches had whole fake gay stories lined up. Yeah, and until now, it was time for the they shift. They got me with that a few times. Over each other on social media, on Instagram. That's Bay and Cam Soda. Come cuddle with me. Shout out to Cam Soda. Shit. Bitches be getting it loose on that Cam Soda. That's another thing. So I, feel I like hear. This, this podcast broke. <laughs> I think we broke Cam Soda on here too. Cam hey, Soda. So I hear. Yeah. They really be getting it in over there on that Cam Soda, fellas. <laughs> you sound old, man. <laughs> Why? Because of Cam Soda. Oh, there's a few retired porn bitches over there getting it popping. Cam Soda is crazy. Look at that name, Cam Soda. <laughs> Cam Soda. A real creep nigga came up with that title. Dead ass. And I mean, I heard you get 100 tokens for free the first time you're on. But that's just Look what we heard. <laughs> that's just what I heard. That? I heard they get they're giving out tokens over there. Yeah, but then the first 100 run out so fast. <laughs> you be in there making it rain with the tokens? <laughs> yeah, then you fuck around and find yourself parked in the back of the Edgewater Multiplex Theater <laughs> while you're waiting on someone typing your credit card information into the phone. Oh, man. Then you get an email from Cam <laughs> Look at all the shit that's happening. Yeah, then you got to click that's a link. too much. That's all too much your shit, sweatpants. Man. Or to your ankles, <laughs> and cars are driving by. <laughs> so, that's, the moment, that's some the creep moment shit, they man. send you a verify code to your text message to buy some fucking naked bitches, you've gone too far. Yeah, man. Like, you well, don't be the nigga to just to hit a bitch like, yo, send the free link through. <laughs> send the free link through. Yeah, send the free camp cam soda link through. Wait, I was trying to segue into sleepers and music, and then y'all started talking about freaky, perverted, nasty shit. That was us? Yeah. That was us, right? Nah, you're right. Yeah, that's us. Doom, doom, doom. When that came out? Y'all too young. They smile in my face. All right, Ma. I think I'm going to just break right, out and Ma. say that every 17 minutes. I'd like to hear that song. That song is hard. I tell good. you, but but he is rapping on that uh, Two Birds, One Stone. Rapping is that. Absolutely. Song. He's rapping. I'll tell you this, and then I'll, I'm just saying this, and I'm getting out of this convo real quick. He's very quickly dispelled everything I said about him in Wake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, twenty one savage, but Yeah, but I, I <laughs> mind you, I have no idea who that is. I don't know anything savage about that. Dope. I didn't even uh, I didn't I didn't realize I like I, I like that record. What's that record he got? I forgot the name of it. I love that fucking record and I just found out it was him. I forgot the name of it though. Twenty one Savage is dope, uh and I'm glad Drake put him on that record. Or did the record with him. He Where are it. people finding these these people? On, SoundCloud, you know, they make, make, yeah, they're making well, they're making noise locally in their cities and their states where they're from, and then you know, the internet is picking them up and you know, making them stars, and they get out, they get a hot record out. You know, you know how it is now on Vine. You just don't be on it. Mm. <laughs> no Vine streaming things. is really important now. It's, it's everything, man. It's everything. Uh, yeah, no, I was having this conversation on uh, before we got on when I was talking about sales with Rory. And I, you know, I don't know what the fuck is going on with all the streaming shit, how they count it, how they apply it, but it's really redefining everything, even how artists are introduced, and now we're, that's pretty fucking good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess that's true, because I've bumped up on a, a few good artists, just because SoundCloud goes to the next song, Yeah, and yeah, you then you're just a, stuck listening to some shit that don't sound like some shit you would ignore. Nah, there's mm -hmm. no SoundCloud rabbit holes that should be lost. Do, does anybody have sleepers this week, or are we getting the same speech we get every week? Uh, no, I do because uh, it was Stack's birthday on Friday, so I'm gonna play a Stack Bundle song. Yep, Shouts October Stack, 21st. Man. Rest in peace, Stack rest Bundles. In peace, rest, Stack in peace, bundles Chinks, man, rest in peace, Chinks. Drugs. Rise Squad, Squad up. Oh, you don't have the song ready? Lord of the Chord, some Lord of the Chord, you are. Do you they smile in my face. Word. They just I'm telling take you, my we got we got to bring the DJ <laughs> battle back, man, for the winter time because niggas don't want that problem. I got a spot where we could actually have a dope DJ battle in the city. Do you? Yeah. I'm I'm it's with like that. Dope I, lounge, like dope in, lounge I got the championship got belt. Yeah. yeah. Roy always trying to sneak and go last on the fucking sleep. No, Fuck I, no, I, I here, go Roy. first if you give me a minute. Talk. I just got to bring the record up. Well, I, 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 I don't take long to type in fucking. This stack. is my work computer. I don't have a stack bundles mixtape on my work computer, though I should. Well, I, I'll play. I'll play my sleeping in. I got, uh, I got it ready now, if needed. <coughs> oh, you got yours ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. you play yours. Start with stack. Uh. Yeah. You 
Motherfuckers. The Stack Bundles Peep Game. Ooh, I, I, this I was my shit. Me, uh, come, body up. Stack was that dude, man. I took you from a hood pulling to a bitch with benefits. I even let you polish the pistol. Yeah. You wanna play games with my heart and my mental. my mental. I ain't stressing it, you know how I pick how. Now you hungry, got you scraping a plate. Yeah. I was the one that showed your son how to fucking pee straight. Pee straight. Mm. I don't need him, let welfare feed him. Now it's back to Chinese food, no more eating that four seasons. Nah. You probably try to sue me after the song because me and your sister had something going on. Going on. I might have shook you, but I never slapped you. You back in the hood doing shit that a rat. Do. Turk bird bitch probably fucking for Air Max is 500. She lets you claim her kids on your taxes. On your tax. Ass back was nicknamed the Stupido. Stupido. Now you at summer jam being the groupie though. Pino, don't blame her though, man. <laughs> don't blame her, Pino. Don't throw him, Stack. Don't blame her, Pino. Yo, the other day I was just thinking, Stack would have so much fun in this climate of oh music. My God. Oh, yeah. He would, he would be flourishing. Him and Max. I'm yes. See, I laughed out loud every time these bitches brought your name up. You talk funny whenever my name came up. Wasn't much I could change up. Already had my change up. Still got the wagon, even though the fees change up. We used to watch movies when it rains. Now I play suits with the crew and make it rain. Caviar taste, pockets for champagne. What's that phrase? I'm doing a damn thing. Blow money like it grow on trees. But bitches is birds, so I buy them sunflower seeds. Yeah. The little nigga open, he brought something with spokes out. <laughs> My last deal was worth more than his folks out. <laughs> Imagine this one after record for Fab Jim and them. Who else? The Aquiet working on Paul Eminem. Thought it was feminine. My wash is sets with the rollers. You ain't respect being on a set with the rollers. No respect. My lucky charm let you blow on the shakers. Nasty bitch, took it in your doodle maker. <laughs> Whoever said break up the makeup Bitch I broke up cause I'm caked up I'm gone mm. Sure you did mm. no. What you gonna alienate yourself love Rest in peace tag bundles <laughs> That's great it's great to hear. Word, man. Refreshing. That brought a lot of memories back. Yeah, Hell yeah. 100%. He would be doing a great job right now, currently, if he were still here. R.P. Stack Bundles, man. For real. All right, Maul's going to give us his normal routine song and dance. <laughs> nah, this is, this is... this is. I didn't have none. I just met some nigga outside when I was coming <laughs> here, and he handed me a demo, and now it's the dopest thing y'all niggas ever heard. Nah, man. This is, and um, it's featuring T-Pain. This is yeah, this, yeah, word. this is one of this one of my favorite uh, oh, you know, up and coming artists that I just I haven't heard a lot from him, but I found this record like two weeks ago. Um, Kevin Cossum, um, always but never. I just it? finished I like asking Cossum. where is Kevin Cossum recently. Yo, man, I might be like Nost- Nostradamus or some shit, man. Yeah, man, this is Kevin Cossum, uh joint I just uh, came across a few weeks ago called Always But Never. Do we know if it's new or old? It's fairly new. I think it's this summer it came out, I think. I fuck with Kevin Carson. Me too. A hundred miles an hour. They say if you get the money, then you got the power. Baby, if you got good pussy, then I got the hours. In my free time, legs open like a piece. Damn, I'm living life in rewind. Never alone, but I'm always alone. Never alone. Hey, long. talk to these niggas, I KC. Feel like, I feel locked up in my head. I feel right. You next to me in my bed. Always but never. Always but never. Always want a good time, but I never want to settle. I feel like I feel locked up in my head. I feel right. This shit hard. You That's next hard. To me in Always been never. He rocking. Always been never. Always been never. I think I love you, but I don't trust you. That's the type of shit that I've been going through. I miss you, I 
miss, God, I miss you, yeah, I miss you. But girl, the truth is I itch. Always but never. Always but never. Hey. Always want a good time yeah. when it won't last yeah. forever. Wait a minute. Yeah. Somebody gon' save me. Save me. Good Lord, I'm about to go crazy. crazy. I swear I be going through changes. Sometimes yeah. it's like yeah. I don't know yeah. what my brain is. Yeah. 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 Never really alone. I could definitely hear you on this, Joe. I don't already spit a verse <laughs> in, my, in my head. I could definitely hear you on this, man. Shouts to Kevin Cossum, man. That's Kevin Cossum. Always but never. KC, my, text me, man. My number the same. One of my favorite artists right there, man. Shouts to Kevin Cossum. Yeah, KC did, did just let a wave of niggas come try to fucking... Jack his style? Yeah, basically. <coughs> All right, so this gentleman I'm going to play, right? <coughs> Uh, this is a gentleman by the name of Tone, and I want to say Stith. Well, let me spell it now. Now that I now that I lost it in my phone, yeah, it's S T I T H, right? And I bumped into this song a few weeks ago, but he kind of low key bodied it. This song is called Selfish, and it's just it's, it's my walk around the house. Wash the dishes, swag, turn this up, and get busy in the, in the morning. Hey, talk to these niggas right quick, Tone. Why you so selfish? Why does it feel like I'm alone, still holding on to this? Like I'm so selfish. Oh, keep trying to give you what you want. Now you're gonna start going ham in a second. <laughs> I think this nigga's a white kid. Wanna hit you up right now, but I'm stuck right now with mine. Girl, I still don't get it. Keep trying to give you what you want. Cause I just can't help it. You ain't trying to work. They got his Phil Collins swag off. Yeah, I'm fucking with this. Nah, no, that little nigga smooth. And I always love when they're gonna give you a guitar breakdown. <laughs> oh man. So they fact check. So they told us that uh that was an old clip that we had saw with Beyonce doing um. X Factor. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. I, I don't give a fuck. I had never heard it. Yeah, I didn't. I never heard it. I either. never heard it, and I'm still looking for the audio of it. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, like uh, CDQ or MP3. Oh, man. <laughs> CDQ. <for> CDQ. <laughs> yeah, I got to go kill myself <laughs> somewhere, man. <laughs> CDQ fucking, version when, when is When the wild. world has changed around you, man, I might as well go get a Sycamore beat tape, man. For real. Beat CD. Real shit. You chill, had to. Those were hard. I was about to say, you had to go have a Sycamore beat CD. Yeah, chill. All right, so this is great, man. We're getting the oh, fuck out of here. Not, did all the basketball talk get cut out? Did we speak about basketball at all? <laughs> basketball season is here. I'm ecstatic about it. I'm not back. listening back. The NBA has changed, themselves. man. It's The landscape has changed. No more Kobe. No more Tim Duncan. Yeah. No, you no, know what I no mean? KG. Like, no KG. It's The legends are. we losing them, man. I'm excited it's back. Yeah. I'm sure I speak for all men that are, we're happy it's back. Yeah, man. Shouts yeah. out to all the homies in the league. Hope y'all have a healthy, great year, man. I think the Giants on a bye week. Are they? I didn't even check the schedule. Whatever. No, I just saw, I felt like the Giants were playing somebody tonight, right? No. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they, they, I think this is their bye week because they, they they just came back from London, so they, this has to be their bye week. Yeah, I think it is the bye week. Yeah, good. Without, All right, so well, I'll let you fuck Tars later. Well, then. No, I'm, I'm in Houston on uh, Saturday with Henny Palooza. Tickets oh, still available at hennypalooza.com. Okay. Uh, oh, you definitely cheating in Houston. They out there. <laughs> <laughs> they out there. Oh, uh, it's um, costume. <laughs> costumes are uh, are accepted. You don't have to wear one, but there was a few cities it. where you just got to cheat in. Not me. Other uh, people. Are you wearing a costume, Rory? I haven't decided yet. Okay. 
I would love to see Rory in his costume. <laughs> well, you know I'm not going to wear shoes. He's going to just have jeans and no shoes and no shirt on. <laughs> Wait, that wouldn't be a costume. That would just be my regular attire. <laughs> yeah, People don't know ass. that. <laughs> All right, so Andy Palooza is in, the, uh, is in Houston this weekend. Yes, sir. Uh, Raging Machine in stores. I'm in Philly tonight. I'm in Virginia Beach on Saturday. Let's get to it. Mm. What time are you leaving uh, for Philly? Tomorrow. I mean, yeah. today. Uh, fucking, uh, I don't know, probably three or four. Yeah. Maybe I will. Let me know. I like Philly. Me too. All right. How about you fuck stars later? Want it? Peace. Say less. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Say less. Sorry.